Hey everyone! Sorry I haven't recorded a video in so long. Um, the past couple of months have just been really busy for me um, and I kind of just wanted to take a break, you know, from recording and vlogging and everything, you know, because I took a break from vlogging last quarter. Um, I just wanted to kind of clear my head a little bit and just kind of get back in the right state of mind for like filming YouTube videos and just kind of figuring out kind of like where I wanted my videos to go um, because I felt like it was just kind of like a Mod Podge of stuff. And so I think kind of like my layout hopefully for 2016 will be every other week will be a main channel sit down video like this and then on the other weeks I will be doing vlogs. Um, granted they might be short depending on how busy my week gets but um, I'm gonna try and do that just so I don't feel like, just so I can have like a schedule of like, okay, I need to do this this week, you know, because I felt like it was kind of like, last quarter it was just kind of like, oh god, you know, like I don't know what to do, and then I never ended up doing anything, and then sometimes I'd film stuff like super last minute and it wouldn't be like the quality I'd like, but I felt like I had to get a video up, you know? Um, so that's kind of like my goal for 2016, and so this is gonna be my main channel video for the week and then next week um, it'll be a vlog. Um, granted it might only be a couple minutes or it might be longer you know depending on how um, exciting and how busy I am that week. So um, yeah so I guess let's move on to the topic of this video which um, was basically my favorite moments in 2015. Not things that I got or anything just more or less kind of like memories or just things that really made 2015 a really really good year for me. Um, so I guess kind of like the first little thing that happened back kind of like in January, February and then kind of throughout the year is really figuring out where I'm going in college, figuring out my major and my minors, you know, because I originally came to Central as a theater student, but now I'm an anthropology student um, focusing on archaeology with minors in museum studies and theater, and I recently added on a forensic certificate. Um, and just kind of like knowing where my life is going and feeling good about where it's going just kind of like really made 2015 in a way a lot easier on me um, because the second you know, like, this is what I want to do with my life, I feel good about this decision, it's kind of like this like weight that you didn't know was there is kind of lifted off because you're like, because like most of your life I feel like young adult life is kind of like, oh god I don't know what the frick I want to do, you know, like, and then just kind of figuring out like a path that you feel good about, that you feel like is really versatile and feel like you are fine with is just like, there's something really calming about that, you know, just being like, I am comfortable with the path I am taking and I feel like sticking to it. So that's kind of like really relieved a lot um, last year and it was kind of like really, in, like it was an interesting turn, but it also felt like really good just to be like, wow, okay, this isn't what I was expecting to do, but it's so much better than what I was expecting, you know, that type of thing. And kind of like the second thing, um, it's kind of two things combined in one, um, was the One Direction and Five Sauce concerts that I went to with basically my best friends on the planet. Um, and the, there's just, with the One Direction concert, like, um, me, Emily, Tana, and Michaela, we've all been waiting to see them for like five years and then finally being able to see them, especially before they went on hiatus, you know, um, it was such like an emotional experience because it was like, here's these boys that we've been wanting to see for ages. I mean, we didn't get to see, see Zayn, but still it was just this kind of like moment of just, we're finally seeing these people we've looked up to for a good chunk of our lives, you know, like it was just a surreal experience finally being in an arena, seeing our boys, and especially being as close as we were, you know, it was just completely amazing and it's something I will never forget. Even if I don't listen to One Direction in my future, you know, 
it, that was still like a really big moment to be able to finally see them in person and just experience, you know? And then with the Five Sauce concert, you know, it was just, it was their big, first really big tour, you know? And, you know, it's been amazing to see them grow from like where they started on YouTube um, and seeing them grow into like these guys, you know? And it was just an amazing experience to finally be able to see them, you know? Cause it was more of like, well, I mean, maybe, maybe not, because it was such a last minute thing, but it was such an amazing experience to go see these guys and just see them perform live because I think they're really good musicians and their music just really makes me kind of like, or I relate to it a lot, I guess is what I'm trying to say, is just, especially with their new album. And it was just like a satisfying experience to go see them live and be able to say I saw them on their first big headlining tour, you know, it was a really, really satisfying experience. And I think the biggest part of my 2015 was really figuring out kind of like my sexual and gender identity and kind of being okay with it because I grew up not like thinking, you know, like the way I was raised is like, I don't, I don't know if this is okay for me to be feeling this way, you know, and so for the longest time, I like pushed it off, you know, and just, I didn't want to think about it because I didn't want to accept that I was that way, you know, and, you know, just like, it took a lot of slow steps to be comfortable with saying, yeah, I'm bi, yeah, I'm agender, you know, and, you know, it was kind of like a long process and finally being able to say in 2015, yeah, I'm this way, was so satisfying and it was just really, really, really gratifying just being like, I'm finally okay with myself, you know, like, I'm okay with it. And that's like such a big thing for a lot of people to finally be able to say, you know, what? I'm okay with myself, like, because I feel like that's just a really big problem we have like, I don't know around the world, but like here in the US, it's definitely hard for people, especially in the LGBT plus community, just, I'm, cause it's like a lot, cause, cause it's like a definite step, you know, especially if you weren't raised in a household where, you know, it was like super like, oh, it's fine, you know, we'll still love you. Cause I definitely grew up in a household where it's like, no, absolutely not, you know, and, um, so it's just kind of like been a process and um, I'm s like, I'm feeling a lot more like happiness and pride in it and I'm feeling so much more confident than I have ever felt, you know, like saying like, yeah, you know, I am that way and I'm perfectly okay with it, you know, because it's just who I am. And so it was, it's just been like a really gratifying year, I think, just so much has just come together in my life like so much has just become like making my life better you know which i'm really happy about because i'm turning 20 this year moving out of my teenagers and i feel like 20 is just kind of like the time just to be like okay let's get this shit done you know and um you know and so it's kind of like i'm happy i'm at the point where i'm like okay, you know what, I have an idea of where I'm going and I know who I am, I am happy with it, let's get this shit done, let's go conquer the fucking world, you know, like, and so I feel like just this year has been really, really nice, so, um, you know, um, yeah, I guess it's just been kind of like my favorite moments of the year, just, and just kind of like, why 2015 was just a really, really good year for me personally. So, I think I should just end the video. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!